If you've never nuked a table or spun up a cluster so expensive that you need a budget approval, I don't believe you worked in Databricks. These are the 10 Python mistakes data engineers keep making in Databricks. And if you're not making these, congratulations, you're in the top 5%. The rest of us have scars. Number one, this is not your Jupyter Notebook. Ah, uh, yes, the classic mistake. You paste some code from Stack Overflow and treat Databricks like it's Jupyter Notebooks. Spoiler alert, it is not. You've got distributed compute at your fingertips and you're using it like a logical script runner. Stop that. Databricks isn't just a notebook. It is a cluster backed beast. If you're not thinking in terms of distributed processing, you are leaving 90% of the horsepower in the park. Mistake number two, the power of Spark. If you're using a for loop to process rows in Databricks, I've got questions like why and how fast do you want to burn through your compute credits? Spark was built to handle this at scale. Use it. I inherited a notebook where someone had looped through over 5 million records using the collect function and four row in the data frame. That is not engineering, that is digital vandalism. Caching, but be aware this is only available in dedicated compute. You ran a five minute transformation and used the result three more times without caching? Congrats, you just paid for it four times. Throw a DF cache in there like a responsible adult. Here's a real one. I cache a data frame and cut job runtime from 22 minutes to four. Same code, one line, don't pay rent on the same compute twice. Do you even know about Delta format? Still writing raw parquet in 2025? That's like buying a Tesla and never taking it off eco mode. Delta Lake is built into the platform. It's not optional, it is your default. You get version control, scheme enforcement, and time travel? If that doesn't excite you, are you even a data engineer? Don't, just, just don't. Nothing says, please hack me, like hard coding a path to production or embedding your secrets in plain text. Use widgets, use the DB utility secret function, use literally anything else. Bonus tip, parameterize your notebooks like a grown up. Stop copy pasting and start templating. Don't be lazy, use proper logging. Running show to debug a job that fails in prod is like squinting at the sun to see what time it is. Log like your job depends on it because it does. You want consistent logging? Write to a delta table or at least pipe to a centralized log. Your future self who's debugging at 2 a.m. will send you a fruit basket. Schema drift because no matter what, it's going to happen. You let your pipeline infer the schema every time and act surprised when it breaks? <laughs> that's not a pipeline, that's a house of cards. Define your schemas, treat them like contracts. Use schema.json and lock it in source control. Don't let one rogue null field take down your entire orchestration. Modularize and parameterize for your sanity and maintainability. You ran cells out of order, now your data looks like a Jackson Pollock painting. Reset your state, modulize your logic, and stop pretending the execution order doesn't matter, because it does. In their grand wisdom, Databricks gives us magic in the form of percent run, widgets, and job parameters for a reason. Stop pretending every notebook is standalone, because it's not. Partitioning. This is a core concept of distributed compute. 
you were writing two terabytes of data into a single folder and wondering why queries crawl? Partition your queries. Use dates, use IDs, use your head. I had a client go from a nine minute query to sub 30 seconds just by bucketing by region and year. Don't be that person who dumps everything into your bronze all. Version control. Is this your first job? Still copy pasting notebooks instead of versioning in Git? You're one step away from a bad disaster. MLflow and Git aren't advanced. They're the baseline. Databricks literally has a sidebar for repos. Use it and stop naming notebooks final, final version three, blah, blah, blah. We see you. Databricks makes you feel powerful until you triggered that 200 spark jobs that lit your cluster on fire. And now your boss is asking if the invoice is a typo. If you missed it, be sure that you check out these 10 mistakes that beginners make.